Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Tuesday, and I am getting ready to, actually my kids are gonna go to my mom's today. She's fixing one of Brooke's favorite foods, and um, they're gonna hang out over there for a while, and I am gonna go get some stuff done, grocery store and stuff like that, and it's actually a yucky day today, just not a good day to really do anything. I don't know if I'll even, I hate going to the grocery store if it's raining, but, um, He's laying behind me, so maybe he'll be a good boy. But I just wanted to do a quick out for the day. I wanted to show you um, what my hair looks like straight, um, which I think is probably one of the best things about this haircut is this is my hair with no flat iron, no nothing. All I did was I used this product, which was really neat. It's the Redken Aerate all over Botifying Cream Mousse, and it's the weirdest consistency. One of the girls at Ulta really likes it, but it's like a, the light will make it, it's like a, it looks like it's gonna be like a mousse, but it's more like a cream. It's just a, a weird consistency, and I took um, a good bit, probably, I can see where it formed back, so it must be a little moussier than I thought, but I took probably a bigger than a quarter size amount and worked it all into my hair but you can see it did not weigh it down a bit and um, I also I had like two on this side and two on this side extensions left in my hair that I had not taken out because they had been redone like a month ago and I ended up just taking those out I took them right out myself I, I used just the um, enjoy oil and took them right out and I think it looks better I didn't need that extra thing so now I have completely no extensions and it feels so good um, and then speaking of extensions I bought these this last is the kind week. that Gina has and a lot of people have matter of fact my friend Angela texted me and said she had these two and loved them and they're just these Sally's um, your next collection 18 inch clip-in human hair extensions and the girl at Sally's told me to go ahead and get the platinum. And what I'm going to do is take them to one of the girls at Ulta is real good with extensions. And she said that she can do kind of like an ombre where they're darker at the roots like mine and then tone the bottom. So that'll be interesting to see. And um, I don't know if I'll, I'll wear them or not, but I just thought it would be fun to have them just in case I want to. Um, I, I, I debated on getting them and then I did and then I debated on even taking them back and I thought well I've already got them they were like I think with your Sally's card they were like 134 so as extensions go they weren't that expensive and um, so we'll see how that goes and I thought it would be a good experiment to see if she can get them to match and then I could tell you guys what she did and then another thing that I wanted to brag on and both of these things I wanted to brag on but I've only used them one time but I was loving them like this I think did a really good job and then this is I went last night and got the base break done to my hair so you can see she doesn't do any highlights or anything like that it's strictly just to that darkest part just lighten it up a little bit and then next time which is in like two or three weeks I'm gonna get highlights and low lights and that'll brighten it up a lot but what we're trying to do is to get the dark just to ease down you know and just make it as pain free as possible which it's you know how that goes but this is one of the lotions now I usually use the creme de corps lotion from Kiehl's and that is I didn't remember it being so heavy but I'm gonna go ahead and use it because I've got it but she Rachel suggested this that she loved it and it's the Kiehl's aromatic blends vanilla and cedarwood skin softening body lotion and I hate to read the whole thing but it um let's see um, reminiscent of tobacco farms in southern United States with moisture restoring squalene and vitamin E our luxurious body treatment provides a 24-hour hydration while leaving skin superbly smooth moisturized and protected silicone free um, seductive blend of vanilla grown on a small sustainable farms in Uganda and smoky cedar wood I should have just read the whole thing but anyway, it smells really good. It is not overpowering at all. It's a very relaxing, just simple. I don't even know if I would even think it was an aromatic type thing. It's just a very simple, 
good smelling lotion but what i wanted to brag on is in the middle of the night last night i was having a hard time sleeping i was doing that thing where you wake up and you think about all the things you need to do like you know all the things i need to do with the kids before school starts and you know things i should be doing that i haven't done and then you know all that kind of stuff and i just reached down and was rubbing on my leg and my skin just felt so soft. I mean, I had forgotten that I even used this and it just, your arms, everything just feels so soft. I can't believe, I don't know what is in it. I guess it's that squalene or something in there, but if you like stuff like that, give this a try. It's awesome. So I am gonna do a quick outfit of the day. It's hard for me to get used to this because you know, I'm not used to, for one thing, I'm not used to parting my hair on the side and I just kind of did it wherever it parted last night. And um, I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day so and then let you I go. I have on this maxi dress that I got from, oh goodness, I can't remember. It wasn't Nordstrom. I believe it was from Bloomingdale's or one of those places. I'll put the brand name down below. Um, it's just a real simple, long, short sleeve maxi dress, black. Little and Mr. B in the show too. He's watching me. So you can see it goes all the way to the ground and I am just wearing my, um, oops, I'm gonna go this way, just wearing the GG rose gold sandals. And um, I still haven't changed out of my gray Rebecca Minkoff Love Spell purse. So this is it. For accessories, I have on these, which are the gold toned Rich Rocks earrings. Um, this necklace is a Vanessa Mooney. I think it was the, I can't remember, it started with a C. And um, the Lex and Lee bracelet. This is a bracelet, just a brass bracelet. I got it at like a local boutique. And this is Vanessa Mooney. And um, the fragrance I have on is one of those different type fragrances. And I think I was kind of inspired by when it said tobacco in that lotion. But I put on the, um, oh goodness, it's the Tart, I believe. Is it tart? I can't remember. It starts with a T. No, fresh. Fresh um, cannabis centaur or whatever. And that's one of those weird, earthy type scents. But for some reason, I just kind of like it. And um, so, and you can see little Bubba's. One of his eyes is doing that weepy thing. I think I'm going to take him to the vet. See what's going on. Little weepy eyes. Yes. <laughs> and we should be bringing home our new baby. I talked to them and I think we're going to go get her Friday night. Unless I hear otherwise, she said to be there Friday night and pick her up. So we'll be bringing him home a little playmate. Baby that just drinks a baby bottle of milk. You want that kind of baby? No. Oh, oh just a kitten. Oh, okay. So you're telling her, telling him not the kind of baby that drinks a bottle with milk. Okay. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> I think I'm too old for that now. Okay. I hope you guys have a great day and I will probably see you tomorrow, if not the next day. Bye-bye.